Hello YouTube, how are you doing today? I want to talk about as a matter of fact I have a couple of subjects on my mind that I want to talk about. Um, it it had struck me yesterday after watching some of the videos about, about the earth being flat which I tend mostly to believe that the earth is flat. All the theories, all the sensible theories is stating that the earth is flat. Uh, I mean the earth is flat on the top. But I'm not sure as to what the bottom of the earth looks like if there is such a if there is such a thing as the bottom of the earth where does it stand where is the beginning of the universe where is the end of any part on earth because we never get to witness it it wanders off in ice as we heard about in the un un Antarctica but we don't know how far that ice goes we don't know where the limits up to. so here we are you know not knowing really really too much because we found out that all the things that science had told to us in terms of NASA And in terms of the other agencies that is putting out information about the world is round uh, and the, the sun is 93 million miles from the earth and the earth revolves around like an axis and we find out that all of that stuff is lie. All of that stuff is nothing but lies. Speculative lies. Because it's not. So now we at this place where we... You know, trying to figure out like the mysteries of God are see if if it is something that we can even figure out. Because we have not solved the the issue or the circumstances with the, the Bermuda Triangle as yet. And now here we are trying to figure out the shape of the earth. Or the end of any part any part we're not even sure if the world is wrong if the earth is wrong we don't know what shape it is because no man no man had ever been far enough in space to 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 be able to tell what the earth looks like from up there because we are as we already know those of us who have been paying attention that the whole trip to the moon was a hoax. That never did happen. The Soviet Union didn't do it, nor did the USA do it. So we know that the USA and the Soviet Union, they are not so much of enemies as they make the world to believe. It's like, as Bob Marley had called them, Heckle and Jekyll. You know, where they, they, they work together in such thing and it's all part of this big old scheme to to brainwash people, to brainwash the rule of the masses. So the, the US don't need to be going talking about democracy. They are democracy. We are democracy and they are autocracy. Because we don't know who is who. We don't know who is what. It's, it is all just a game that they play with us. It's all just a game that they played you know, with the heads of the people saying, okay, we are Democrat and, and those are, are, are autocrat to divide and rule because but, when, when, but, but, but in essence and in the true sense of the word, when you study it closely and study it based on the values of it, the Democrat society 
and the the autocrat society, the totalitarian government is the same thing. It's the same thing. It's just one side. It's just a different side of the same thing. The same divide and rule and conquer because it, there is no such thing as democracy. Neither is there any such thing as, as uh, autocracy. It's uh, just about what they sold us and want us to believe, want us to keep us divided with opinions because if they, they can't rule us if they don't divide us. And when we talk about they, we're not talking about they as, as in the man that's in power, the politician that is put in power, the world leader or the government. We're talking about they as in the demonic forces because they are the ones who, who is really in charge of the system in the way and in the sense that that they they have elected men to govern or to rule in, in such a, such a places because these men are ruling based on the influences of, of demonic forces. So we know that the rule the leadership that we see in, in the men is really demonic spirits. And they come with that rulership, with that dictate, with the intention of governing over the people of God and to, to, to have us, the people of God, the people of earth, I would say. Because the people of the earth are the people of God. You lose that status when you depart from the will of God when you allow the demonic forces to conquer over your life and to make you do evil things. So, what is the agenda? What is the bigger agenda? Because we sat there pointing fingers so far at, um, at white people of what they did and of our history and how it is and of, uh, of black people and what we did and how we are and we blaming everybody we blaming each other for the circumstance that we're in but what we're not realizing is that there's a greater force that is out there that is wrestling against us than the forces that is that than the forces that is put in power are being placed into power in terms of human being. There are greater forces out force out there than human being. That is over us. That is in charge of things. That is in charge of the actions of the world and of the way people act. So while we stay there blaming each other for for, for the circumstances that we're in, blaming white people for their wickedness and for their ignorance. And I'm um, pointing fingers at our leaders and all of that. We have to understand that we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers and rulers of the darknesses of the world, spiritual wickedness in high places. You know, that is what we, we, are, we, are, we are wrestling against. That is what our warfare is against. So this is more bigger than we think in terms of, of, of what spirit is really governing the world. Because if the world is on an evil path, then it is being governed by an evil spirit. If the world is on a good path, then it is being governed by, by the spirit of God. Now the spirit of God is a sovereign spirit of man, the sovereign, the sovereignty that wants to rule among us that wants to reign among us that wants to reign in our hearts through the love of God and through his sovereignty that wants us to to abide and so to surrender ourselves to peace and to justice and to good things and to 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 to, to depart from violence and violent actions and violent ways of speaking to each other 
violence in words that cause people to be hurt saying something to hurt other people's feelings all of those things being judgmental of each other being condemning uh, uh, condemning of each other being contentious with each other all of those things are things that mitigate our sovereignty with this greater power with this greater force that is trying to that that is trying really now to to correct the world to correct the wrong things that is in the world and if we allow that spirit to lead us that humility that humility and com compassion that humbleness of heart that care for each other that love for each other that good manner of speaking to each other that positive energy if we allow that to infiltrate our lives then we are saved from the bad things and from the place where the bad spirits are trying to take us whatever time you open your mouth and say something to somebody that is derogative something to hurt somebody's feeling or to make somebody feel bad every time you do that that negative word that come out of your mouth and manifests itself into a demonic spirit and is now taking on life to take life it takes on life to take life and this is why you have like the spirit of death in the world is it is that negative energy those negative words that come out of our mouth you know and I pray right now as I speak you know that God would give me the, the power and the wisdom and the ability to to say good things and to to portray good and positive energy and to let that energy out in the universe to let that govern the universe and bring good things to me and bring good things to the people who I speak to and bless the world rather than than um, than cursing the, the the world that that we live in and that would be a better thing a better thing a better thing to accomplish than to put out negative energy to tear down people's spirit to tear up people's heart to make people feel sad to bring sad and tearful energy that is a non-energy that is a violation of the good spirit that God had already placed within us because at the end of the day all of us want to be saved from where that bad spirit and that bad energy those bad governors of the universe want to take us because everything that God had created there is an opposite side to it he had created faith but there is also doubt he had created life there is also death and death exists because life exists because if you didn't have death, then you wouldn't have life. If you didn't have life, then you, then you wouldn't have death. And everything that exists in this world, truth exists because the earth falls. Everything that exists in this world exists in, the, in terms of a parity where it have an opposing side to it. If it does have an opposing side to it, you know, it, it can't exist. So there's an interesting... Thing. it's an interesting time in our life when we're just coming now and getting now to know God based on, on the party based on, on the universe that he, he created I know this is deep for a lot of you and it doesn't make any sense but you know I'm in my own world here to find out what is happening in the world to find out what is good for us on this earth because we find out now that we had been lied to 
and we had been lied to a lot and the lies that we are told is not so much about man because then all the men who lie to us they are already dead but the lie is still here so how if they are dead the lie is still here so we still have a problem with the lies so whoever is responsible for the lies that has been told to us was bigger than the man themselves visit our website at the local teller.com we have a lot of traffic there so sometimes the site is down i have to put my system on a different server so that we can teach and not just teaching you but learning from you you know what is the good and pleasant thing what is the right and the unacceptable things learning those things from you too just as well as 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 as, as teaching you what is a great day you know, in the life of the believers. So God be praised forever and ever. Amen. Thanks a lot. Please subscribe.